the good deal is that today in our calculation in physics, we are going to be dealing on progressive wave. So these are the equations in solving progressive wave. So you can see we have the first equation, the second equation, the third equation, and the fourth equation. Any of the equations, you can use any of the equations to solve problems on progressive wave. So it doesn't matter how the equation is, all it takes, only if you can know one of the formula, you can use it to solve any question in progressive wave. So basically, I prefer using this particular equation. I prefer using this particular equation in solving progressive wave. It's quite easy and very understandable. So this is my favorite formula in calculating progressive wave. Our first example, in our first example, it says that a plane progressive wave is represented by the equation. Where the symbols have their usual meaning, they say calculate. First of all, they say we should calculate the wavelength, the frequency, the velocity, and the period. So solution: two pi f t minus two pi x over wavelength. So now. This equation, they are going to match each other, so we are going to use it to match each other. So, because all of them has their own corresponding meaning, so this corresponds with this, why this corresponds with this, this corresponds with this, and also this corresponds with this. So, first of all, they say we should calculate the wavelength. So, calculating the wavelength, so this corresponds to this, so we now have it as 2 pi x over wavelength is equal to this particular equation pi x over 0 0.17 so what we are going to do is to cross multiply then we cross multiply so cross multiply we now have it as we now have it as pi x wavelength is equal to this 2 times 0 0.17 we have it as 0 0.34 pi x so what we are going to do we are going to divide both sides by this which we have it as pi x divided both sides by pi x this will cancel this so which we have this will also cancel this so which we have it as pi is equal to 0 0.34 liter so we have calculated our wavelength then moving to the question two, sorry, question two. So we have it that they say we should calculate the frequency. So calculating the frequency using this particular equation, the frequency. So from this particular question, the frequency is equal to this. This equation is equal to this equation. So we now have it that two pi f t is equal to two thousand pi t. So we are looking for frequency. So since we are looking for frequency, we are going to divide both sides by all these values so that frequency will stand alone. We now have it at 2 pi t. Divide both sides by 2 pi t. 2 pi t will cancel each other. t will cancel each other. So we are left with, so we have it as f is equal to 2 0 0 pi t over 2 by t. So if that be the case, so this and this is going to cancel each other. This cancel this. So 2000 divided by 2, we have 1000. So our frequency is equal to 1000. 1000 hertz. Question number 3. In dealing with question number 3. Question number 3 says we should calculate the velocity. Question number 3 says we should calculate the velocity. We know that our formula for wave says that V, velocity, is equal to frequency times wavelength. So, if that be the case, so since V, frequency, we know that frequency is given, we got our frequency as 1000. 1000 hertz. Our wavelength, lambda, which is lambda, we got it at 0 point, 0 0.34 meter. So, V is equal to 1000 times the frequent the wavelength which is 0 0.34 this multiplied by this we have it as 340 meter per second question number four says so we should calculate the period so which is t 
So T, we know that the formula for calculating T is 1 over F, which is the frequency. So we know that F is equal to 1000 Hz. So we know that frequency is equal to 1000 Hz. So if that be the case, the period is now equal to 1 divided by 1000. So 1 divided by 1000 is going to give us 0 0.0016. Second. In example 2, we have this particular question. It says that the equation y 5 sine 3x in bracket 3x minus 40. So this is the equation. So they say that y is in millimeter, x is in meter, and t is in second. So this represents the wave motion. This represents the wave motion. So the question the question said that we should determine the, the frequency, the period, the speed of the wave, which is also the velocity. So I said that we are going to be using this favorite, my favorite and um, this equation. You can use any of the equation, it doesn't matter, but this is the most simplest question, equation to use. So with this particular equation, you can solve any progressive wave. So now, solution. Let's write down our question, which is y equals I said that each of the equations correspond to each other. Y corresponds to Y, this corresponds to this, and um, sorry, okay, this correspond to this. Why this correspond to this? Why we are corresponding both of them? And this, this and this because the three has x and the x is in this particular equation. So why this has t and the t is in this particular equation? Let's deal with this particular question first. So we now have that. 2 pi f t is equals to 4 t. So if that be the case, we are looking for the frequency. Looking for the frequency, we are going to divide this by 2 pi t over 2 pi t, which this will cancel this, t will cancel t. So we now have the frequency as frequency is equals to 4 t over 2 pi t. So if that be the case, t will cancel t. So frequency, what we know that pi, pi is equal to 3.14. So if that be the case, we now have it as equal to 4 over 2 times 3.14. This multiplied by this is going to give us about that means 4 over, this multiplied by this is going to give us about uh, 6.28. So why 4 divided by this is going to give us, 4 divided by this is going to give us about 0 0.64, approximately, approximately 0 0.64 hence. So in calculating the period, we have, we know that period is equal to 1 over frequency, which we know that frequency, sorry, Frequency is equals to zero pulse here. Frequency is equals to zero point six four hands. So they say we should calculate the period. In calculating the period, we know that period is equals to one over frequency, which frequency is equals to this. So we have it at one over zero point six one four. Sorry, six four. So 1 divided by 0. Point, 1 divided by 0. 0.64 is going to give us about 1 divided by 0. 0.64 is going to give us about oh, 1.56. Yes, 1.56. If you press your calculator, it's going to give you 1.56 second. This particular question corresponds to this, which is 2 pi x over wavelength is equal to 3x. So in that case, this is invisibly over 1. So when you cross multiply, when you cross multiply, you now have this multiplied by this and this multiplied by this, which this multiplied by this is going to give you about 3 
wave x wavelength is equal to this multiplied by this still the same thing as 2 pi x. So if that be the case, we are going to divide both sides by 3x so that we are going to get the value of wavelength of pi, which is 3, the value of wavelength, 3x, divided by both sides by 3x. So this cancel this, wavelength is now equal to 2 pi x, this is pi, over 3x which s is going to cancel x we know that pi is the same thing as pi is the same thing as 3 points we know that pi is the same thing as 3.14 so which is 2 times 3.14 approximately 3.14 divided by 3 so wavelength is now equal to 2 points approximately it's going to give you 2.093 so approximately is 2.0 one 2.10 approximately meter now we have calculated the wavelength we have calculated the wavelength so since we have known the, the wavelength we can use it to calculate the speed which is also known as the, as the velocity so now let's calculate the velocity so we know that v is equal to f times wavelength so in that be the case we know that frequency is equal to 0 0.64 and our wavelength, which is lambda, is equal to our wavelength is equal to 2.10 meter. So now we cannot calculate our speed. So we said that V is not equal to which is frequency is equal to this 0 0.64 times our wavelength, which is the wavelength, which is this 2.10. This multiplied by this is going to give us 1.34 if you press your calculator. So we have it at V is equal to 1.34 meter per second squared. Sorry, meter per second.